So this is my second attempt at pitting the rock against the flare. You know, deep down inside, one on one, face to face, you can't beat the rock. You gotta be born. I tell you, and be prepared to die for it. Woo! Let me just say, I am very happy with the improvements that Rock has done to their uh, chamber here. This is the Rock Espresso GC. The GC stands for glass composite. So this part is um, not gonna break like their old ones. The old ones, um, I went through four of those chambers. I got explosions in my face. I got burn marks on my neck that lasted once for multiple days. And I also broke four of these porta filters because of these little tabs on the side that you tighten in to the uh, to the bottom here uh, because I like nice, tight, um, strong shots. And that's one of the things I will say that in the past that The Rock uh, gave me a little bit of a hard time was getting thicker, more viscous, strong, dense shots. So we're gonna see with this new one uh, what we get. Uh, I'm using metric coffee. Uh, roasters in Chicago. Uh, I went down there and had the barista pull me some shots so I know what this is supposed to taste like so we're gonna compare this with that and of course he's using a you know more than ten thousand dollar La Marzocco machine and we're using this hundred and sixty dollar manual machine here so we're gonna try the rock here okay tamp that nice. So again, I'm going to do 18 grams in just like the barista did at the metric headquarters. And I'm looking to do a, a two to one ratio, which means I'm going to get 36 grams out. I got that nice and tight. All right, so let's go. This is right off the boil. Okay, got that filled up nice. And I'm going to give this about five seconds to kind of drip down there. I'm hitting that and I'm going to go in about eight seconds, seven or eight seconds, this first drip will hit. And I'll let you, that seven seconds, the first drip hit. Now after that seven seconds, I'm probably going to go about 20 more seconds. And I'm looking to get 36 grams weight. There we go, bingo. Okay, doesn't really matter if you get like just a tiny bit more uh, that comes out or, or whatever. So you can see this took 24 seconds and it yielded me 38.4 grams. So the one thing that I noticed about the rock that is different in the comparison with the flare that's coming up next is um, the shots that I pull with rock like I said, they're a little bit thinner um, than what I want. Um, I'm not 100% sure why that is. I don't know if it's the size of the holes in the porta filter. Um, I don't know if it's the, the way the pressure comes through. It's just something that I've noticed that the, the top of the crema looks a little bit different than the ones that I pull in the flare. The ones with the flare look pretty similar to the ones I'm getting when I go to the barista downtown at Metric. All right, here we go. Metric, thanks for the roast. It's tasty. I mean, these guys do a great job. You can order it online if you want. Uh, this is called Quantum Espresso. You can order any of their single origins and they work well with all this too. Um, so it's good, but it's real thin. So it just tastes like strong coffee. I don't feel like it's, I feel like it's just barely entering the espresso range for me. I mean, it's real drinkable. So thanks to Metric, and The Rock does make a really nice coffee drink, but the espresso that I'm pulling with this is not close enough to what I get when I go to the barista and he hands me a shot or she hands me a shot and I look at it, smell it, drink it um, and feel it in my mouth. This doesn't give me 
that same experience. So that's, um, that's the Rock. Again, it's a great machine. Um, it's very easy to pull shots with this, but the question is, is how close are the shots to what an actual espresso shot is supposed to be like? That's the question. And for me, that's actually what matters the most. I am not a person who's looking to buy this um, just for its portability. I mean, I, I'm pulling a shot in my living room on top of a little piece of furniture. So that's pretty cool. You can't do that with a huge machine. You can't just move it around. So that is one thing that's awesome about any of these um, machines, but that's not really the main reason that I bought them. I bought them because I can't afford $10,000 and I was really curious to see how close can these small machines come to pulling real shots. This machine tries really hard. It does a good job for what it's doing, but for me, this still does not come close enough to the shot that I tasted when I went to the roaster. Let's try the flare next. Boom, the flare. This is the original flare. Um, and it, uh, I, I am gonna be using it uh, with the plunger uh, piston that has the um, pressure gauge on it. It just happens to be the one that I'm using now. That won't necessarily affect uh, the competition much, but it, it does serve as a great way to kind of measure what it is that you're doing. So you can kind of keep things consistent, keep the pressure, try to keep the pressure at the same place throughout your shot. So it is a very helpful tool. And currently the Rock uh, Espresso GC does not come with that. Uh, included or as an option. Although I will say this, there's a guy on Instagram that's making them to fit the Rock Espresso GC. You can look for that yourself. But this is coming uh, straight from Flare. You can add this to your machine or you can get their brand new uh, Signature Pro number two and it comes with all this and it's got a little bigger. Uh, it, it, I'll do a video on that some other time. All right, let's go. This is... Um, the same thing, I'm using 18 grams, okay? So I'm gonna get this hot out of the water. Now, this is another thing that I like about the flare also, is that the parts actually fit into little water containers easier than having to dump the whole uh, rock machine under hot water. You have to keep, you gotta keep these machines hot. Well, the cool thing about the flare is that the whole porta filter, the little chamber that's gonna go on top of here, it's small, you'll see. And it all comes apart easily and you can warm just that and that's all that needs to be hot. The rock, however, the entire uh, unit kind of has to be submersed underwater um, in order to get it hot and staying hot during the actual shot. All right, so let's do this. Same thing, exactly 18 grams. Now I will say this, I guess you can call this an advantage if you want. The Rock easily takes 18 grams, where I, whereas I will say that the Flare, um, I would say the optimal um, weight in for this little porta filter basket is probably somewhere between 13 and 16 grams in versus the Rock, you can easily do 16 to 18 grams. Okay, so let's tamp this. And I like that this has got this nice little funnel so that you don't make any messes. All right, that's tamped. Okay, let's put this there. I'm gonna put the filter screen on top. I'm gonna pull this right hot out of the water so this doesn't lose much heat. Fill this up, there's a little line in there. and I'm gonna get ready to go immediately here, okay? So I'm gonna look for, okay, I filled it up a little too high. I'm gonna go for about five seconds of very soft, slow, and now I'm gonna start my timer, and in about four or five, there we go, that was about three seconds. I got my first drip, and I'm looking for, again, my shot to go a total of somewhere around 25 seconds to 28 or 30 seconds, something like that. But the goal is to get the right weight out, which will be a two to one ratio, giving me 36 grams, bingo. Okay, so you can see the weight there. 
the shot, if you're looking at it, you can tell it's got a little bit more crema on it than the other one had. And something you should notice is that there's a different quality to the crema. See, it's darker. Now, hopefully I'll be able to show you and you can see a little bit more, uh, there's just a little bit more color in there. Okay. So that looks much more, actually it looks very close to what I got when I got this from the barista at metric downtown. But the real thing is actually the taste. No matter how good the crema looks, no matter what color it is. Look, these are all just signifiers. They're just helping you to see, did you do something right? Did you do something wrong? All right, here we go. It, I mean, it's very cool that this inexpensive, again, so this one is also somewhere around 160. Similar, similar price to the uh, Rock Espresso GC. Um, that doesn't include the, the pressure gauge here, which if you, if you noticed, I didn't actually even engage with the gauge. I just wanted to show you guys that this is a cool little tool if you want it. And I do look at it sometimes to um, help me diagnose if there's a problem uh, with something that I'm doing and it doesn't taste right, doesn't look right. Uh, this can be a helpful tool to kind of make sure that you're pulling your shot right. But this is thicker. It's just closer to what you get at the barista. This is in the range of good espresso shot. So it's impressive that this $160 machine is producing nice, thick espresso. I'm not getting any insane bitterness from this. And it's a two to one ratio shot. So again, my parameters for this were the same as the other one. 18 grams weight in for the for the coffee and then the liquid was twice out so it's 18 in 36 grams out and again sometimes that'll vary by like one or two grams out you, you, you can't like make it perfect every single time um, especially in a video nothing ever works exactly right so um, but I will say the rock is still not able to keep up with the flare and I cannot wait to see what the newer flare is going to do because it is going to get me even closer to making shots that are just like the ones that I'm getting at a cafe by my favorite baristas in Chicago. This chamber, this piston, this idea is phenomenal because again, this is all that needs to be warmed. It fits in a little Tupperware thing with boiling hot water and I'm warming it before I do my shot. Look, if it were me and I had to decide between the two and they cost the same or, you know, sales can make things differentiate. Even if this was 20 or $30 difference, which it's not currently at the time of this video, even if this was 25, $30 more, I would still go with this. And this is something else about this. I've had problems with the rock in how it ages and they have not changed on the new rock. They still haven't changed some of the parts on the old rock that I have problems um, with corrosion and lime uh, scale deposit, that kind of thing. Um, this just doesn't have any of that. The only part that I need to be worried about is just this part right here and it's stainless steel. So, well, I mean, this is like plastic, but it's stainless steel. So Flair, you win again against a good contender, Rock Espresso GC, but Flair easily wins once again. I've been champion for a long time, Tony, simply because I'm the best there is. Right, baby, now? Yeah.